Greetings and salutations. This is Evelina O'Malley, Lady of the Room, and Wearer of the Bray, with your word of the week for today. And the day is October 9th, 2013. Sorry, reading from there. And I decided we're going with the following words. And I got written all down here. I also found a new website, which will be linked down below, so you guys can look them up. And, you know, make your assessments. But, anyways, we're going to start with the first word Crempuscular. And it's spelled C R E P U S U. Wait, <laughs> C R E P U S C U L A R. Crumpuscular. And this word is basically basically means appears or appearing or active in the twilight. Kind of like you know how bats and insects are. So, you know, think mosquitoes and Edward. Yeah. I went there. Anyways. Since I did care was my neighbor always seems crimpuscular. Especially when I reset his alarm clock. What? I thought I was doing something nice. Anyways. Abstemious. Abstemious. It's about A B S T E M I U S. Yes. And it means. There's, there were lots of definitions for this word. But this, I just went with the one that Study Blue gave me, which was self denying. Okay, and the sentence I chose for this one was For two weeks, I was abstemious when it came to Cheetos and Warheads because they would cause my stomach to hurt and my teeth to grind. Okay. And then, next word. And this one, if you just think of the father of Luna Lovegood, that might help. And it's Xenophilia, which is attraction or admiration of anything for it. So, I decided to go with something that might be obvious. I experienced a feeling of Xeno. Philia, Zenophilia, when I think about singers from Australia and Poland. Yeah, I love Australia. <laughs> and then, my fifth word is Palladium. Palladium, Palladium. And this is a... If you know anything about Roman and Greek goddesses, it comes from the word Pallas, which is the name of, of I believe it's Athena, yeah, the goddess of knowledge, you know, I, I plan to go in more into this because I love gods, gods and goddesses, and it amazes me that people don't know anything about it, so, or very few people know anything about it, however, the definition of this particular word, again, study blue, so, if you don't agree with it, sorry. <laughs> and, and it was safeguard, something to ensure safety. Hey, you could say, the roof of your house can be a form of a palladium. It is, or it gives you a sense of palladium. You know, from from the rain or 
other elements, nature's elements. And next is, this one is a combination of two words. And, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't spell it the playing word. And that's spelled P-A-L-L-A-D-I-U-M. And you might want to write it down. I'll try to put it down in the description below so you guys can find that particular thing. So you can send it on its merry little way. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now, like I said, the fifth one. This fifth one is a combination of two words that I kind of liked for some reason. And I think we've all... I've dealt with this kind of person, with these kinds of people. The first one is Nicomaniac. It basically means a woman with compulsive and sexual desire. And then there's Satomaniac. Now, this is something that we women deal with on a constant basis, or, well, supposed to have dealt with on a constant basis. It's a male with an excessive sexual desire. So, and I, and you spell nymphomaniac, and I'll spell this out. N Y. M P H O M A I I A C Nymphomaniac. There's a maid with me at the floor. Okay, that's that. And now for Satomaniac. S A T Y O M A N I C A. S A T Y R O M N I A C Satomaniac. Okay. And the sentence I came up with, you can laugh at it, or I think it's the stupidest thing I ever came up with, is why did the Satomaniac? And Nymphomaniac get married. We'll tell you when you're older, son. Anyways, good night, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, well, wherever you are, good morning, good night, whenever this movie is uploaded. And, anyways. Please follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and again, I'm sorry for this video not being as funny or as interesting as it really should be, or should have been, but I was trying. I ain't the best I could. Sorry. Okay, but, uh, have a good night, and, and or good morning. This is Emily O'Malley signing out and telling you to follow on my Tumblr, my Twitter, huh? and... Okay, I guess you can follow me on my Facebook now. I've been getting a lot of people on my Facebook since I've been posting videos there, too. But, um... I'm gonna put you all under acquaintances, just to let you know. I got lots of people trying to follow me there. Because, like I said, I've been posting on Undertaker Freaks videos. So... Anyways, thanks for listening. Have a good night.